My understanding is that if we want to live sincerely and truthfully, we have to understand one basic point. There are two universes, so to speak, as I mentioned elsewhere. What I need to be careful is that I shouldn't think what I think is all there is to it. Because the line, my mind has a limitation. I see that. And what it means is that while my mind is functioning in a certain way, as I do it right now, there's another un universe, bigger, infinite universe, functioning behind me, my mind. What does it mean? It's here now. I see, I feel the energy of life. Is prevailing within me and surrounding me. That's how the universe is functioning. And when I say that, that may sound very like a mysteric. Maybe so, if we don't feel it. And there's no way to feel it, that's the problem. But my awareness is there. That, and also logically, I can see that, that unless there's the force of universe functioning everywhere, I don't think, I don't exist, nothing exists. But I sense this manifestation of law of universe, whatever you call it law of nature, without that, even my mind cannot function. So you cannot touch it and feel it, what that force is, or the law of the universe, what that is. But I'm, as I mentioned elsewhere, if there's God that is doing the job, we, I wish to see how he or she is doing the job in manifesting every, everything as it is. Personally, I don't like the term God as much because of this religious connotation, so I tend to use the law of universe or I use the word temme, order from heaven, the heaven meaning the universe. There's the universe force functioning every moment. And if we detach as the mind says that the mind has its own identity or me identity to think this, think that and get busy and occupied in that and forget all the functioning of what is existing, what is happening every moment. Then we are confined in the mind. We are not connected to the law of universe manifesting. So when I say I can see it, that there's such a force manifesting, and I can also say that there's logically, I can prove if that's the right word, using the mind, <laughs> that's the tricky thing. But without that, I don't exist. I'm just the miracle of this existence here and now. To me, that's, I don't know if you want to call it the mystery. It's beyond mystery. It's a miracle of existence of everything as it is. As if the life energy is flowing within me, and that's the sense I've felt since especially the awakening event that took place 22 years ago. What I found was that the blockage that 
is preventing me to see and feel or identify with that, my eyes open as if the experience of the vibration or new awareness that came about. So that's the gate that is open in the sense that that exists, but in the mind, the gate is closed, that we don't see it. But like I said, logically, again, that's tricky to say it logically, but scientifically, or logically, we see the evolution of the species. Life born on Earth, and we have a track record of it, the evolutionary process. Parents, son, parents, son, generations. Before that was the more primitive animate, or before that is all the way back to the amoeba or whatever, the small living being. The threat of that is come to this moment and it's functioning still. So if you call that as the law of the universe, making this evolution to happen and we are at this instant communicating, if there's anyone listening, about what's in my mind and how I see the evolution and where I am and the fact that I can talk It's itself a miracle. If I can even communicate, that's miracle of the miracle. But behind those miracles is the miracle of the law of nature functioning. <laughs> and if you connect to that, and if you have that as a, if I call it a sense, or I don't want to use the word belief, as awareness of being, then we have the other dimension, important dimension, dimension functioning, in me, in you, and in particles, and the, the bed I'm laying down, and the lights, and the door, and the furniture, and all of that. It's manifestation of the law of nature. And you can say we are awake we, if we can connect to that and see that. And if that is seen as the basis of why I'm here, who I am, and all of that, that's amazing. And if we live with that sense, not to be confined in the mind, but let's say we can appreciate all the force making us live and evolve, even though we have difficulties of communication, understanding, but always have that within us or being in us. So I use the word riding the wave of the universe. We are surfing the wave of universe. Mind can detect logically, talk, and spiritually connected, be aware of such being. Maybe that should be called as awakening and awareness and where it comes that appreciation of that I don't know but let's say there's the creator and I'm being created this create being in the mind can relate to that creator the law of the universe God 
if that's the term you like to use. In other words, beyond the mind reach, there is such a thing. And have that appreciation be there. That to me is a profound that to me is a profound state of being. So I think it was I of Eckhart, the one, the I I see what's out there. It's the eye of God, so to speak, looking at me. So, just a little thought. Esoteric, mysterious, but that's what it is, is it, as it is. You may ask, what does that do? That is what it's doing, the work. So, Connect to that. Not to be blocked. Open the eyes. Relate to that. Identify. Not with the self, ego, but with the force of the universe. The law of the universe manifesting everywhere, every moment. Don't you think that would, if that happens, wouldn't that give us a sense of uh, peace? To know that me identity is like a floating particle on the water, jumping this way and that way, depending on the situation, if we just focus on that one. But we are one with the law of universe manifesting as we are. So if I think about the analogy of kids and parents, Kids grow, parents take care. Same relationship, me identity and this universal force identity behind it. We can connect back and forth. And there's that force like a parent with compassion and wisdom to filter into our process, to evolve, find the passage into the future, every step of the way, and be with it. May all beings be happy being with the law of the universe. Thank you. Thank you.